So we're moving early tomorrow morning and I haven't packed up anything yet. John's packed up everything so far. I'm supposed to be packing and I can't bring myself to pack. I'm just, I don't know, it's hitting me and I have a lot of sadness and anxiety about the move and I'm just, I'm really gonna miss my stray cat friends. I'm gonna miss Mojo and Mama Kitty. And I just, I feel like so awful about everything. And I know, I keep telling myself that I found them a home. They're going to be happier in the area that they're used to than if I bring them to Hollywood that the neighbors are adopting them and going to feed them in their yard and they're going to be okay. But why do I still feel like I'm abandoning them? Like, why do I still feel like I'm a bad person? <laughs> they just... They, we've been feeding them over there for a week. Over a week now. And still, like, every time they see me, they come running up to me and meowing. And <sighs> I'm just... I'm really, really gonna miss them. I love them, you know? So it's... It's really hard. And I know... There's more for me in Hollywood. I won't, <laughs> nothing bigger will happen for me in life if I stay in Corona, I need to go to Hollywood. And people keep telling me that I need to do things for myself, but <laughs> I just, it hurts that I, <laughs> that I can't like be with all the animals. I wish I just was a millionaire and I could buy a big mansion and I could, have like all the animals in one house. You guys will be okay, right? You'll be okay. I'm gonna miss you so much. Mama. Moving day, moving day. It's crazy how your life can fit into little boxes. We pack it up, we've already started. Got the U-Haul here, a giant U-Haul. I'm starting to feel a little more calm than I was yesterday. You know, it was it's about that I feel responsible for them and I feel a little out of control when it comes to the cats. But the neighbors keep telling me how much they love them and they're gonna build like sh things along their roof and little shelters, boxes for them and everything. And I guess, um, I can always come back down if, should things not work out, knock on wood, hopefully they will work out, but, yeah. Drag this to the end of the driveway? Yep. Ready to help some more. But yeah, I can always come back down and get them if I have to, but I probably won't have to. John is saying that once they see that this house is vacant, they're probably gonna hang out in Val's yard more. See, Mama Kitty's up on the roof right now. Mama Kitty. Mama, I'm gonna miss you. This is how you pack. It looks like a man. Kinda, but this is how, you, yeah, we could like do a, like a prank with this. I think this is the best way to pack a coat rack. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. All the jackets, there they are. Yep. Ah, it's the ah. scary coat man. Ah. Ah. John is like the best handyman ever. You're really good at figuring out where to put things and how to move furniture around corners. Look at him, just strapping that thing. It's like playing Tetris. <laughs> like some of these situations, if I was by myself trying to move these like big cabinets and tables around the corners and out of rooms, I would have gotten stuck. I would have been like, okay, I don't know what to do next. But John's like, no, we have to open this closet so the table like goes in the closet and then we go around the corner. And I'm like, geez, you're a smart guy. Manly man, moving the table. Clunk. It does make me really happy that our U-Haul has a sea monster on it. I know champ, I've heard of him before. I think Aphrodite knows what's up. Every time I come in here, she won't stop rubbing up against me. Aphrodite. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving. Yeah, pretty girl. Sitting in the middle of what used to be our bedroom. We got the U-Haul all packed up. We're gonna make our first trip soon. We're probably gonna have to make a couple trips, but only one trip with the U-Haul, and then we're just gonna pack up the cars in the next couple trips. Simon Wyman. 
Simon, you're getting big. Yeah, bud. Loading up the Bronco. Vroom, vroom. What if he just messed up and the car fell over on its side? John would be so angry. Hey, up there. Hey, good looking. Do you ride? I do. I want to ride in that. Reptiles are ready to go. This was one of the hardest parts. Well, our friend Andre came to help us after a couple friends bailed on us that were supposed to meet us in Corona. So John and I packed everything up ourselves and now Andre's making it easier on John helping him. I was put to work putting stuff away in the kitchen. I guess that's where I was supposed to be more the most useful. And I can't figure out how to turn that cup off. Yeah, I'm just emptying out these boxes, putting stuff away. I pressed that button. There's Andre and John moving stuff into rooms. Oh, now I found some light switches. I was like, geez, it's so dark in here. Do we really need that many lamps? But yeah, moving can be super stressful. Like now that Andre showed up, things are getting a little easier, but I'm just like, I'm not strong enough. I'm not as strong as I'd like to be. I, I can't help John as much as I'd like to. I, you know, bring in the lighter stuff, but we need another man for the heavy stuff. Ugh, we still have to make one more trip back to Corona. We're on our way and we're starving after moving stuff all day long. So we stopped at good old Mickey D's to have some dinner. Poor John kept dropping stuff on himself. My foot. I know, Nothing. your poor foot. John was saying he's sore everywhere. Yeah. I'm sorry. I need to scarf this food down though. I'm so hungry. And I look like hell, I'm sure. It's so cold and empty in our house. It's so cold in the sea. That's the only part of the song I know except it's D not C. And I'm losing my mind. I'm so tired. Been up for too long. Only slept like four hours last night. So I'm going crazy. I want to be done moving. Aphrodite. Lola found the only comfortable place in this house. All the couches and beds are gone, huh? So you had to sleep in my suitcase? The neighbors were nice enough to watch the dogs for us all day. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah, that's where the dogs were. They were having fun being babysat by the neighbors. Now it's time for some coffee. I gotta drink this coffee. Well guys, we're all moved in. We're getting stuff to where it's supposed to be. We still have to unpack stuff and move some things around, but starting to get the living room set up a little bit. Like obviously that table's not gonna be there. I don't know about that chair, if it's gonna be here or not. Um, but the animals are here, they're getting settled. Hi Doodle Bear, hi Noby Nobs. Lola, are you curled up on the blanket? Oh, Lola. What do you think of the new place, Thor? Huh, Doodle Bear? <coughs> Aphrodite, what do you think? Hi, Aphrodite Whitey. <coughs> the animals seem to have gotten settled really fast. They seem really happy here. Like they're playing together more than they would at the other house. Gizmo came up and cuddled with me on the couch when Gizmo's kind of been a cat that uh, does her own thing, you know? They just, they seem like they're happy here. This place must have a good energy or something. Simon. Simon, were you drinking out of that fountain? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. But the place is a work in progress. We're gonna try to get it to look a little nicer, but hey, we're in Hollywood, and that is awesome. I actually have to start hardcore cleaning. The people that moved out didn't clean it very well, and I'm kinda mad about that. It's kinda dirty, so I gotta get on my hands and knees and start cleaning everything. So I'm gonna wrap things up. Always remember, guys, that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah! We'll keep you updated how things are going.